see if I correct. Huh? Jenny, if I see here. Yes. <coughs> I've moved the uh, Pay this invoice. Second. And a motion to second any additional discussion. All those in favor signify by your right hand. Opposed the same. On this, Jen, on the CEDIT, have you come up with a method of getting the CEDIT request to the council so we can approve it? She's got an idea. I think we're going to have to go project by project to kind of, do you want to give them, say there's 100000 in project one, if you guys approve that entire project up to the appropriation of 100, then anything expensed out of that is okay. Project two might be something that not everyone agrees on here, so then that whole thing before anything even gets started on it needs to be brought before the council before any money is spent out of it. That way there's not any wasted time or you see what I'm saying with that? It's not something that'll get started that money could possibly be spent for. So in other words, say the line item for EDC where it's like this with two different mm -hmm. um, debits coming out of that line, then we could approve those ahead of time. time. But if it's one that um, is Doesn't questionable, then we approve item by item. Right. So if you give $100,000 to the county highway, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. The CETA plan says 100000 for county highway. Do you, want to, do you want to see every bill for stone? No. no. Do you want to see every bill for asphalt? Yeah, I, I just think that I just think that's ridiculous. I think when you see the seated plan, you go project by project. Mm -hmm. If you don't like a project, then send it back to the commissioner. Say, don't you 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 said don't like the ambulance? I go buy an ambulance. Okay, not go buy an ambulance. Got it. <clears throat> but to say we approve this and this and this and this. But by the way, send us every bill through. We're approving it twice. Well, I you don't you don't do a budget. You, you don't do a budget for office supplies. You don't pass that budget, which you did. You pass the budget and then say, now send us every office supply bill. It, it still needs to be appropriated by this body. Right. And so by doing it at one at a time, like Jen's recommending, and holding back on the ones that we want to see what happens with that. Because just because it's in the seated plan doesn't mean it needs to get spent. And again, it, it needs to be appropriated. It needs to be appropriated if it's going to get spent. But you, all of us know the seated plan is just a guesstimate. So it doesn't mean that everything that you have written in the seated plan is going to get expensed out. And just like the highway. But you could you, appropriate it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but not blindly. Right. In the highway, for instance, if you guys approve, if in, when we know the ending balance for the year, we know what we're going to get for 2013, and you say you allow the highway to spend 100000 and they get into a project that's going to be 150, I think they need, that's when they need to come back to you and say, we told you and you approved 100, but now it looks like it's going to be closer to 150, as long as they're within that appropriation amount. And within the seated plan. Right. I mean, if they don't set the seated plan 150, it either needs to be rewritten or. And then approved again, even if it's the same grant project, if it's outside of what was appropriated, which is right back to a department head. If a department asks you for 50000 for one appropriation 
and then ends up being they need an additional, it'd be nothing more than an additional to come back before you guys for that funding. That's what I think. But on the other hand, if the project came in under, there's no sense in, we don't have to give yeah, it out. Yeah, we don't have month. to tell you. Yeah. What's yeah, no I don't have any problem. We don't need to see every stick of invoice. Is that the way you go about that hundred thousand though? You pay in individual invoices? Mm -hmm. A lot of times. A lot of times. That's right. like the GIS we have. Yeah. That's why I was like Next after day. the meeting I was like, that's a monthly bill for like seven hundred dollars. You know, so that meant every time I get that bill, I hold it for a whole month. You guys meet and wait till the next um, check writing, pay it, and then it'd just be you guys would approve it every time. We don't. And we penalize like the vendor. That. Well, yeah, yeah I don't want to be late. I think when they see it, when it comes, and we go through that, and we see items on there that don't change every month. Don't change. Are every then year. we approve those, and then you can go ahead and pay the bill. But I think it's anything a, else that would come back to the council. That was a suggestion. Approve it. Like this year, there's nine projects. When he brought it to you, it had nine projects. When you get that this year, maybe it'll have like seven. One of them you already know about is the one for the expenditure of the courthouse, which I think he's going to talk about. But um, that one should already be in there, and you'll know about it. So any invoices that Mark turns in to be applied to that should be okay. But it might come in two thousand dollars here, fifty here. But then we get it to that, and that's already been approved. But if it's a purchase of a new dump truck for the highway, and you guys aren't really all together on purchasing or spending that money, then that gets tabled or doesn't get and approved. I, I like that idea. I think right. So it's either totally approved or the amounts approved. The pro appropriation is approved or not approved. Right, and then to spend your, that money, they're going to, not that it's not ever going to be approved, right? but it has to come back before you, before the money's spent. And that would work out a lot better. <coughs> That's where I want to go. That's okay. That's fine. I mean, we still have to do it for, for this year, for this term. We need to go through and do that. Right. The one that you had in February should have taken a little bit more time with. Now it's almost, you've seen the ending values in there. Um, what was it, 875? You had appropriations for, sorry, my bad, 794,000, and there's only been, it's been spent 308 through November. So there's really still close to, And there's 977 in the, in the balance. Yeah, but you don't have all that appropriate. You only had. I didn't say I did. I just said there's 970. There's $977,000 sitting in the fund right now. Mm -hmm. So there's still money you have to spend this year. But you didn't come close. They didn't come close to spending all the money they told you in the original project. Why don't you do a, you know, either print off the seated report for anything that's been expended? I gave it to you guys. Okay. Maybe we should um, look that over and at our next meeting do a, a vote on, and make that official so that those funds have been appropriated. But now we should start looking at 2013, right. almost a whole year behind. So I just think the whole way of looking at it has been questioned or wrong for a while. The, the commissioners are ready to work on the 13-14 plan. But quite frankly, this group sends us confusing information and we're not sure how to deal with it. But what I'm hearing today is perhaps this plan could be broken into two components. One, let's just take economic development. That's a static number. We know what it's going to be. And so we'll give you static projects and dynamic projects. And the static projects, perhaps you can just say, okay, that's appropriated, do it. The dynamic projects, we want to see bill by bill. I think we're worth willing to work on it, but quite frankly, we get confusing. We're confused by what this group wants. So. Well, I think our message has been pretty clear. It's basically been that if there are funds expended, then we're obligated to appropriate those funds. And if it comes, the seated plan is not approved by council, and it doesn't have to be approved by council. That's your guys' wish list and what you want done with that. 
but once that is written, it doesn't make it gold. I mean, it has to come in front of this body, and that's what we're trying to resolve here, is getting, getting the expenses out of the seated plan authorized, appropriated by council, which we're required by law to do. So, sorry if it's been confusing, but it was never intended to be. It's just... But you've been around long it's... enough to know it has never been like mm -hmm. this before. Um, it I, was supposed to have been. I didn't say that. I said it happened. <laughs> yeah. Just was. So you done. cannot blame me for being oh, confused when I, I do the first plan. I understand so. that. Okay. But we've learned. We've all learned. And if you like my idea of static and dynamic, that's the way. Does that sound all right, George? We'll, we'll work on it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, George is. I guess I, the whole thing, I don't understand why we have to have it approved twice. If we, if we bring it before first of the year if we bring it before the county council and get it approved then why do we have to bring it back before the council again and get it reapproved? You don't. Well, we never approved it. Yeah. Place. We don't we don't vote on the seated plan. I mean it is presented to us as a, as a matter of information. You know see what I mean? It's not that's not an appropriation that is commissioners coming and saying here's our seated plan and then going away. Okay so at that point, what's the reason for even bringing it to the, the council if they're going to um, secondarily approve everything anyway? I mean, it, it just, it's just... Just for information. Yeah. yeah it, it just... Gives us that, so. well, I can understand that, but it just seems like we're, we're bringing it before the council twice. Once we have a plan, um, you know, and we bring it before you, then I think that's the time to, to discuss if there's issues that you're not... It um, absolutely is. Well, I don't have a problem with that, George, but, you know, you brought the commissioners, not you, but the commission, I brought a CEDAR plan to us, but we have never voted on it. It's just been information. And we have never formally approved it. Okay. Isn't so what, correct? Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is maybe you'd like for us to vote on it when you bring it to us. Is that what you're saying? Well, I think it would be a lot more clear that way because then... We could go forward well, I don't knowing. Have a problem with approving it when you bring it to us. To, to me, it would make more sense because why go through the whole year and not know whether this is going to be approved or not? I, I, well, you bring it to your plan when you bring it, don't you? Yes. But things can change. Well, I, I understand that. This is just a wish list. We understand. But that. If we uh, if we bring something to you that you're really not on board with, then we need to be able to change that to to change gears and to change that right away rather than waiting to the very last moment and then change it. Yeah, I can understand that. I can too. The circumstances do change throughout oh, the yeah. year. Oh, yeah. Well, that's and the seat of plan. The seat of plan is, is a that floating point. To come back. I kind of like what Jen was talking about. You bring the seat of plan up. <coughs> you get through there and say, hey, we know we're going to approve this, 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 and this, and approve it. Then the rest of that plan, they can go to spend that, come back to the council on an individual item and move <coughs> But will you approve the dynamic um, part of that at that time? Or is that going to be something when we bring it to you, then you will approve it? Well, I think we, I think you guys could approve it at that time. And then it changes. Something changes. Do you think or not? It could. But, if, but the thing about, if we approve it, say, whenever you bring it to us, December, January, that doesn't mean it's set in stone. If, Circumstances change, correct? Is that, that correct? Right, but I guess what I'm asking. I guess that's what that, was bothering us. If we I, approved it that minute, set in stone, we couldn't change anything. I guess what I'm looking for is um, that the council and the commissioners work together on this. That at the first of the year, when it's when it's brought before the council, that if you guys have something that you're not happy with, that we approach it right then. And before waiting until we wait until the very end, and then we have a problem. And, and I guess that's my, my whole issue with it. Why? All of the funds are the 4,000 capital outlay funds, so you can move that money around in any of those projects that you want, and then it still has to come back to you. If you approve something at the beginning, just like a department budget, it would still come back to the council to move that money. Around. If it changes, well, if it changes after you approve it. I think what well, the I don't think the council and Don was a little well, I guess maybe we hadn't I didn't feel we ever been asked to prove this when we first saw it. 
No. No. And, and then we were a little reluctant to prove a, a two-year plan two years ahead because things change, and we are, everybody and we knows will. that. And, and that's right. why we, we were a little reluctant to do our, to do anything right up front, you know, two years in advance. And so we needed to have a little better communication and talk about this when it first gets presented. And that will be shortly because it will be the money left over year in for 2012 unexpended yeah. will go right back in. We already know from the sheets I gave you in September how much money the county's portion will be for um, 2013. So the commissioners should have an idea of what they can expense for 2013. Then they can take the 75% of that and come up with projects. Or maybe if you guys have something yeah. you want to suggest. It needs to stay the commissioner's plan. There isn't hardly any part of it that is. Well, that you guys write <laughs> the plan. So Okay. So if you write the plan and then you want something to come out of it and appropriate it out of it, that's when it comes to council. But I, I think your idea is good. You have your you're just gonna have your all your seated projects. Some of them are gonna be the same that they've been years and years and years and years. And then some of the projects are gonna be on the watch list. And the watch list is what comes to council because we've already approved and appropriated the other ones. I, just got to show the state that you have a plan for that 75% of the money. Right, that that's what your plan is. Okay. 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 Moving on. <laughs> 